My son was planning a road trip and he planned on living out of this van for some time. When he got the van, it was missing a few windows. Instead of buying new windows, we thought it would be more secure to just replace the empty spots where windows should be with some metal and make it a lot more secure and safe. So if all along, this is how we installed metal panels, sheet metal panels into our van. First step was to grab a magnet and figure out if this thing was going to be metal or aluminum. Because of the surrounding area of steel, we wanted to match that, so we picked up some 18 gauge sheet steel from Patent Steel for around $135. We took a piece of cardboard and traced the pattern from the inside of the window. After we had it traced from the inside of the window, we used a protractor to create the size lip we wanted for it to overhang on the window ledge. And then we carefully took a razor blade and cut straight vertically down to make our pattern. Once we had our trial done, we took our pattern and put it up on the window several times and did little tiny touches and little tiny cuts to make sure the pattern was just perfect. After we were happy with our pattern, we went ahead and took our pattern, laid it on the sheet metal, traced it out with a sharpie, and then we took a grinder and carefully started cutting out our window, our metal window, for our van. I was pretty happy with our first trial run. We cut it out. It was starting to look like the window that should be in the van, but we still had a lot of work to do. Here we're continuing to take our grinder and make fine adjustments on the corners. Be careful not to bind the blades on these corners because these blades will break if you're using this type of tool to cut your sheet metal. Um, be very careful. Use all the safety protection, goggles, earmuffs. Um, you're going to wear gloves and make sure you're very safe. And this steel also gets kind of sharp here, so make sure you're very careful when you're cutting this stuff. We use two types of blades to do this. This is the cutting blade, and this right here is a little fatter, and this is the grinding blade for the edges. Once you think you're close and you use the grinder to make it look pretty good, what you're going to want to do over and over again is take your pattern and stick it up into the window to make sure that the fit is just right. Uh, as you're grinding this, take your time. Um, it's not a rush. Make sure all the edges look smooth and uniform so it looks really nice when you install it. As you're cutting it and you think you have the pattern just right, make sure you're taking your sheet metal window and sticking it up where it should go and making sure the fit is just right. We had to do this several times and trim and grind uh, to get our pattern looking perfect so that when it was installed, it would look very nice and be very secure and waterproof. Once you're happy with the fit, we use this right here to sand the edges so no one would get cut as they're moving it around or after it was installed, no one any cut fingers and this is just how we did it I'm sure there's many other ways that you can do this you can use a nibbler to cut it out or you can use other ways or just have a shop do it but, so I would definitely do your research and do what you need to do to get your job done we primed the edges where it would be touching the van and sandwiched Then after we figured out where we needed our holes we divided it out and put our marks of where we're gonna pre drill our holes we took this punch here so the drill wouldn't wander and we took a pilot drill bit and then we took a regular drill bit just to get to the right size for the rivets we were going to use. Once all that's drilled out and ready to go, we took some silicone and we put a thick bead of silicone on the van and basically what this, the intention of this is to make sure that uh, it's going where we're going to drill the rivet holes as well as keep it watertight and airtight. Our next step was to take the panel and have a few people hold it up and we started drilling with the drill bit through our pre-drilled holes at this time into the van and then after each hole was drilled we took some steel rivets we thought that would be a little bit stronger than the aluminum they are a little bit tougher and we'd rivet each drill hole or each spot uh, as we went along and, and pre-drilled that. Um, here's a little quick video of us drilling through the pre-drilled holes into the van that way it would line up perfectly and we wouldn't have any overlap or miss the holes or have to search for the holes. A few issues here we had was the rivets since they were steel um, didn't want to catch so we had someone on the inside kind of just pushing the rivet back out. As they pushed the rivet back into the gun this ensured that the rivet was going to be pinching or clamping the panel 
At the end, the window was super, super tight. Um, we had no water leakage. We took a hose, no air leakage. It was durable, it was strong, it was secure. Uh, and then we took some uh, spray paint and spray painted it to kind of blend it in. And we'll finish painting it a little bit later, but here it is primed and just about ready to go. Uh, it's not too hard. It took us some, probably about four hours of work. We had to make a template for both sides. We thought they were going to be the same, but it was weird enough. They were both completely different. Um, here's our finished product. Good luck. Do your research. Uh, have fun. And thanks for watching the video.